YouTube. It is Thea. It is Monday, June 30th at about 6.45, which means it is officially Booktubeathon 2018. I am so excited for the Booktubeathon. I feel like this is like Booktube holiday every year. Um, and I am really excited. I'm like super pumped to, to push myself to read seven books. And, um, and to vlog almost every in like to vlog if not every day then at least every other day and complete the Twitter any Twitter sprints and Twitter challenges and Instagram challenges um, I won't be participating in video challenges because I work full-time and between working and reading and filming these vlogs I don't think I'm just gonna have time to do it but I am definitely gonna read as much as I can this week I am just so excited um, I didn't get a chance to film a TBR video just because of the timing and editing. It just didn't come into my schedule. But as I do these vlogs, I will kind of talk about the challenges and the books that I'm reading for these challenges. And the first challenge was to let a coin toss. Choose between your first read. And my two choices were, were A Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison and um, I Straw Tales, uh, like a Ravenloft vampire book. Um, by P. N. Elrod, and the coin toss decided on Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison as my first read for Booktubeathon. I was kind of hoping it was going to be Ravenloft just because that was going to be a much easier book to get through since this is kind of a, a hard-hitting book, um, but that's okay. I ended up cheating a tiny little bit um, instead of having, instead of starting at 12 a.m. in my time zone, I ended up starting at 12 a.m. In Eastern Time Zone, which is three hours behind me, um, yeah, three hours behind me. So, and, because I knew that I had to work this morning, and there was no way I was going to stay up um, till midnight. So I started. <coughs> so I ended up starting at nine o'clock last night, and I was going to read for a couple hours, but I ended up only reading for about a half an hour or so, and I got through the first 17 pages. Um, and then I woke up early this morning just because I couldn't sleep. And so I ended up finishing chapter one. So um, for the start, so as of 6.45 Monday morning, I have read 30 pages in Song of Solomon. Um, it's a little slow. Um, so it's not quite a fast, a fast read for the book to the thumb, but that's okay. Um, I plan on getting through it. I'm going to try to get through as much as possible today. I'm going to read on my breaks and on my lunch, and I'm reading on my commute to work this morning, and I'll read on my way home. Um, so, but I am just super pumped for the readathon. If you guys are participating, I hope you guys have a great readathon. I hope you guys start off strong and have a great Monday. Um, but I am um, going to sit here and read a little bit before my bus comes in like 10-15 minutes. Um, enjoy kind of the alright weather. It's still hot, but kind of overcasty and rainy. But um, I hope you guys all have a great day. Happy Monday. Happy reading. Happy book to happy book to a thon 2018. And I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Bye. So it's about almost seven o'clock uh, on Monday evening. So I'm home from work. I've had dinner, and um, I'm getting ready to kind of just settle in for the evening. And I'm going to go ahead and try to read during the Twitter, Twitter, try to read as much as I can during the Twitter sprints. But I just wanted to pop in here really quickly, show you guys what my TBR is. So um, for all of these books on my TBR, everything except for the book with the pretty spine. Um, are books that were chosen for me to read by my boyfriend um, because we are doing kind of a choose my TBR for August and with Booktubeathon starting the last two days of July it didn't really make sense for me to choose something for Booktubeathon when he come August 1st and I was going to like read the books he chose for me so I figured I'd just start early and dive in with the books that he chose for me um, and as I mentioned earlier this morning the first challenge was to let a coin toss determine your first read and I had my choices were between I Straw the Memoirs of a Vampire by P.N. Elrod this is a book in the Ravenloft series um, and then Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison. Obviously, this Song of Solomon won with the coin toss, so I started reading this actually last night because um, I wanted to kind of get ahead of the readathon a little bit. I ended up only reading like 15 pages or so just because I was really tired and um, wasn't as fast-paced as I was hoping for, but I woke up this morning and I started it. 
and I read it on my commute this morning and on my lunch break. So I'm up to page 56 in Song of Solomon. It is a little slow, um, but that's okay. I'm hoping that it'll pick up a little bit and um, now that I kind of know what to expect, I'll be able to power through this a little bit more and um, just kind of work on this throughout the week and probably um, hopefully get it done, get a lot of it read tonight during the Twitter sprint and then um, try to finish it out tomorrow. And then challenge two was to read a book about something you wanted to do. Um, I actually really like this challenge. It kind of makes you, um, it's very generic, but it kind of makes you kind of think about what you want to do a little bit more. And for me, I wanted to go with something that like I wanted to do career wise. And so, and I've been trying to read a little bit more nonfiction. So currently on my TBR, I have The Zoo by Isabel Sharman. This is the wild and wonderful tale of the founding of the London Zoo. And um, this is nonfiction. I just picked this up from the library. And I picked this because my career goal is to eventually work in like wildlife conservation or like zoo conservation and like education. So I figured this was kind of something um, that this I felt figured that this fell into the category. And I figured it's really important to kind of just know a little bit more about the education of like the founding of zoos, especially if I do want to go into working at a zoo or like working with wildlife, then this would be a good choice. And I'm trying to read a little bit more nonfiction as well. Um, if I start to read this and I'm not really feeling it or not really liking it, I do have a backup book, and that is Zoo Story Life in the Garden of Captives by Thomas French. Again, this is another book about like wildlife conservation and animals living in captivity. So I'm hoping, um, and even if I don't read this for the book too, but then I'm gonna read this probably in August um, as well. So I do have a backup just in case, um, but tentatively this is what I'm gonna try to go ahead and read. Challenge three is to read and watch a book to movie adaptation. And with my boyfriend picking my TBR for August, this was kind of a kind of a fun challenge that we got to kind of figure out about what book to movie adaptation I was going to um, read and then watch. I kind of wanted to do something that I hadn't read yet and kind of an out of a movie that we did already own. So ultimately we ended up going with um, Soul Music by Terry Pratchett. This is a novel in his Discworld series and we did already own the movie so I figured that I could go ahead and read this and then we can go ahead and watch the movie. Um, I have been trying, I've been wanting to for a while kind of try out Terry Pratchett and get into him. I feel like he is someone that I'm going to really like and I love Neil Gaiman and like they kind of have a similar writing style so I'm really excited to dive into this and it's not super thick um it is like 420 pages but the font is really big and um, from what I've heard that he's like really funny and really fast paced so I should be able to get through this uh, very very quickly. Uh, challenge four is to read a book with green on the cover the one that I've chosen, well, the one that my boyfriend chose is a little amb is a little ambitious, but we're gonna try it out and see how it goes. Um, and that is Neil Gaiman's American Gods. I have read a few other things by Neil Gaiman, and absolutely love his work so far. Um, this thing is a chunker, um, but I am listening to this as an audiobook, and I actually did start this this morning, and I'm already listened to two and a half hours, which is about 80 pages. Um, and I'm loving it so far. So I feel like I could definitely get through this this week. The other book is like t 19 and a half, 20 hours. Um, so if I listen to, you know, three or four hours a day, I could definitely get through it. Um, but just in case that I'm not feeling like this is something that I could reasonably get through during the readathon or I'm feeling kind of bogged down by it, I do have a backup and that is, um, Green Lantern Volume 1 Rage Planet. This is part of the DC Rebirth and graphic novels are always really quick and easy reads and they can kind of break up really thick um, heavy books really easily as well and this has Devin's Green on the cover and I'm trying to get caught up in our Rebirth series so just in case this is my backup in case something comes along and I'm not feeling like I can finish American Gods, I do have this as my backup. Challenge five is to read a book while wearing the same hat the whole time you read it. Um, living in a hot state, I do own a couple hats. I don't wear them very often because I have a job where I have to wear a headset all day. So a hat with glasses and a headset just doesn't work very well. Um, so if I uh, read this, I'll just wear my hat like on my commute in the morning or if I come home and I'm gonna like sit outside for a little bit, which I don't know why I would because it's like 115 degrees here. Anyway, um, while I wear this hat, I'll be reading this book and that is Bless Me Ultima by Rodolfo Anaya. Um, this book I've actually had never heard of until my boyfriend um, that told me that this is what I was gonna read. And this is about a boy named Antonio 
who is six years old. He uh, lives in New Mexico with his family and he um, has someone come to live with him named Ultima. Um, she cures people with herbs and magic and under her wise wing, Tony will test the bonds that tie him to his people and discover herself discover himself in the past and his father's wisdom and his mother's Catholicism. And each at each life turn, there is Ultima who, who delivered Tony into the world and will nurture the birth of his soul. Um, this is own voices, this is diverse, and it's um, something that I feel like will be important for me to read and uh it's not super thick it's like 275 pages or so and um the font's pretty big it does sound like it'll be a pretty fast easy read it sounds like it's like a um if it was written today it would be considered probably like middle grade but it is a classical novel um and my boyfriend read it when he was younger and absolutely loved it and with me trying to read more diversely and more on voices i figured that this was a good good one to go ahead and get to so um, I'm kind of excited to dive into this and read a little bit more um, unknown work. Challenge number six is to read a book with a beautiful spine. I'm going to go ahead and use this one as also a star by Nicola Yoon. It does have a beautiful spine. This has been on my TBR for about a year, year and a half or so. I got it as one of my book of the month books um, quite a while ago and I just haven't got around to reading it yet. So this is the only book on my TBR that I chose for myself because I needed a really quick, easy YA book to kind of break up some more of the big, kind of hard-hitting books. And again, this has been on my TBR for a while, and so I figured I would get to it and um, start getting kind of um, caught up on my backlog of Book of the Month books. Um, I have been skeptical because I read Everything, Everything by Nicola Yoon, and I only felt that it was just okay, so I'm really curious to see what my thoughts are on this. And again, it does have a beautiful spine, so um, this will be a really nice, hopefully a really nice, quick, easy read. And of course, challenge number seven is to read seven books. And for read, and for the seventh book, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, the book that did not win my coin toss. And that is I Strahd, The Memoirs of a Vampire the Raven, in the Ravenloft series by Pete and Elrod. I don't know too much about this book. Um, I know that it's about a vampire. <laughs> and um, this book looks... Like it's super big but the font is really big and it's got some pictures kind of through it so it'll be a really quick easy read as well um, and again this is something that my boyfriend has had um, that he really enjoys and he's been wanting me to read for a while so hopefully I can get to this during the readathon as well. So these are what I plan on hopefully getting to this week. This is uh, very ambitious. I don't think I'm going to get through everything. Um, I'll be lucky if I get through like two books um, but I want to push myself and challenge myself a little bit this year so I'm really hoping to get through at least a lot of these um, follow me through the week to see what I end up reading and what I uh, what my thoughts are on these um, I am gonna go make some tea finish up dinner get cozy and uh, get ready for the reading sprint in about a, an hour or so um, but I hope everyone's Monday is going well I hope that you guys are making the progress that you want to make in your readathon and if not it's only Monday don't be discouraged. Um, we will power through. So I will check in with you guys a little bit later.